Hey guys, we are live. This is it. It's the 2018 Audio Awards live from New York. That is Suzanne Elise Freeman. That is PJ Oakland. Last time I checked. <laughs> uh, we are at the New York Historical amazing. Society. It is so beautiful. For Unfortunately, you only get to look at us in, in this yeah. background right here. But uh, right Suzanne in front looks of us. great, but we're not as beautiful as all of what's around us. Central Park West right there. Next to that, Central Park. Tavern on the Green, a couple blocks away. We're in the New York Historical Society, amazing venue. Everybody coming in in the gowns and the tuxes, and it's just phenomenal. So we're bringing you as much of it as we possibly can. And we are going to start out we are. with our first we go, guest. We're going straight in, aren't well, we? All well, right. we, I mean, we are going to be talking to a bunch of nominated uh, narrators, publishers, authors, authors. publishers, authors. producers. Yeah. Our first guest is the lovely, the talented Donna Postel. She has her first solo nomination for an Audio Award tonight in the romance category. Let's bring her in. Donna, come on over. Come here right she here. is. You look amazing. Thank all right. Yes, you do. Look at you. I know. I gorgeous. saw her earlier today. We were both in the same hotel. I got to tell you, we did not look like this. I, oh. I, d I did, though, because that's exactly what I was wearing before I changed into this. So tell us about, this is your, your big first solo nomination. First solo nomination for The Ladies' Room by Carolyn Brown. It's one of those romance stories that is not your typical romance. How's that? Our hero, hero and heroine are on the other side of the hill. There's no washboard abs. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it's a very gentle, sweet story about redemption and second chances and watch what you say in the ladies' room because it Ooh. will get hurt. Warnings so now. That's what Warnings the in room means. That's what the ladies' room The means. actual yeah. ladies' Who room. Who is the, uh, the publisher? Who are you uh, doing this one for? Brilliance Audio. Brilliance. We love them, don't we? Hailing from the great Grand Haven, Michigan. Yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations, Donna. Amazing. You. you look ravishing, and we wish you all the best of luck. We and will see else you in, in there. We'll be, we'll be crossing our fingers. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Thank you for being our guinea pig guest. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So Donna we're, Postel? We're going to be live for until 7.15, so Knows, there yeah. are no breaks for us. No, no. commercial breaks. When she said the ladies' room, I realized that there is no ladies' room. Probably should have done that before. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have, right. I've had so little water that I, I'm probably not going to need Doesn't to matter. And, yeah, we'll, uh, it, we'll, we'll just be here for all of it. Uh, stunning. We've got uh, the crowd coming in. It's, uh, it's really unbelievable. The show starts live at 8 o'clock. There's a live stream on the uh, – I think you can access it through the audio pub. Through uh, the same place. Same place. All yeah. right, good. So audio, the audio book audio community, com audio book community page. Exactly. So stay yeah. here. You'll get the live stream. Simon Vance, one of the greatest legends in the history of audiobooks is our host tonight on the show uh, and it's uh, well we have high hopes he's pretty amazing a dear friend of all of us in this community and uh, it's gonna be a great show. yes I mean Simon is the best and we're very excited he, he's supposed to come and talk to us but I have a feeling we'll we wrangle have him at some him point going in going we'll into rehearse for the hopefully show. we will if you guys see me looking off this way it's because everybody is watching I see Bonnie right Turpin over here Bonnie Turpin Melissa grab Bonnie bring Bonnie over here Bonnie Turpin this is what happens. This people. is what happens. You see, and medallions, they're wearing medallions. Bonnie, you're nominated in the YA category, right? Come on over here. You it is gorgeous. lovely to see you. You look phenomenal as always. The, the great, the, the luminary Bonnie Turpin. Uh, thanks for coming over to talk so to us. Kind. So, tell us a little bit. No, that's okay. You do that behind a microphone. You don't have to do it here. We do that all day. Tell, tell us, and you, you have won uh, countless Audis. Have you been keeping track? I think they're countless. I've won, I think, maybe three. All right, that's pretty countless. You know, getting one is hard enough. I think that's a pretty high number. Uh, so, uh, so tell us a bit about the book you're nominated for tonight, or is it more than one? It's one. It's called The Hate You Give. The Hate You Give. Uh huh. It's in the YA category. Young adult. For Harper. And it deals with the topic of um, Black Lives Matter. Really, it's about a young a young woman and her experience when her, her friend is shot and uh, what happens after that and her sort of her cultural um, dilemmas as being somebody from the inner city who goes to a private school um, you know has a white boyfriend and dealing with all these different levels of systemic racism and things like that you, let me ask you when you get books like this and you you know it strikes a chord do you know when you first read that script and you're prepping the book you're like this one is going to be pretty intense. I did know with this one, yeah. Do you have a feeling like, do, do you ever get the idea that this might be an award nominee? Does that ever enter your mind when you're doing a book that you know is so I good? I just knew that it was going to go big. And, and I remember emailing Deborah Dayon 
and saying this one is uh, is going to be big. That's Deborah of Dion Audio in Los Angeles. Right. That's right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm standing right behind you. I'm just. <laughs> we have the to stay tight. Yeah, we, we have, have to, to stay, stay tight. Pretty tight. Excellent. Are you excited uh, for tonight? I am. I'm excited for the fun. You know, whether I win or not, the book has already won the Odyssey Award, um, which is uh, an award for young adult fiction. Uh, given by the American Library Association, which is uh, that's a, only one. I mean, that's like that. That's a, such a huge thing in this industry because there's just one of them. You know, not broken down by categories and so on. It's just the one big one. Yeah, but I love coming to this event every year. Yeah, we love seeing you at this event, and we're so excited for you. Congratulations on the nomination, and uh, we're we're rooting for you and everybody else in YA. Best of luck tonight. Thanks, Bonnie. Uh, excellent. So, uh, so we have Elizabeth Wiley. We're being told Elizabeth Wiley is here. The one and only Elizabeth Wiley. Elizabeth Wiley, in. get over here in your black and white. You look stunning. You, yes, you look hey. absolutely gorgeous. It's so much fun. We're, we see all these people, you know, in our, well, we, we generally try to look our best for each other when we see each other around. Well, you always look your best, Suzanne. Thank you. And but it's so much fun to see I'm just usually holding up. a dog. That's my thing. That, I don't, that is, uh, that is I, I look good because Hashtag I'm holding Willie a welly. Wednesday. That's my thing, you know. But, yeah, That's exactly. So you were nominated for a uh, book in the history memoir sec uh, category yeah. called Born Survivors for Born Tantor. Born Survivors. It is an amazing, miraculous story of these women who, towards the end of World War II, were, went to concentration camps knowing, or, or maybe not quite knowing, that they were pregnant at the time, mm. and somehow survived, and right just as the war was ending, gave birth. And these wow. three children of these women are still alive today. Wow. So they are the youngest living amazing. survivors of of concentration camps and, um, and is the it their first person accounts or is it uh, told from a third person author's told perspective from a third person extremely well researched wow. and these three women didn't know about each other even though they were you know a, a train car away or yeah it was yeah. just amazing to read what was the experience like when you recorded it heart-wrenching and and just uh, you know it, it, it's just, I mean, there are no words. No. There are no words. Well, fortunately, they were yeah. written for you. So when you have no words, the authors come in and they're right there with words. That's yeah. why we don't ever actually have to make up any of our own. So it's a good Thank thing. Goodness. Isn't Thank that goodness. great? Because I'm left speechless so much of the time. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. It's terrible. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best, uh, obviously, you. along with everybody else in uh, history, biography. So awesome. No. I'm so happy to be well, here. We best. feel the same way about you. and Bye, Look amazing. So there we go. Elizabeth Wiley. Bye. There we go. Good luck, dear. We'll see you. We'll see Wait, you very did soon you talk inside. About my, my blingy microphone. We did not actually. Uh, so yeah, this is like a Johnny Weir, Tara Lipinski kind of thing. Okay, I yes. clearly was not prepared for that. Yes. I, no I bling. I spent the entire plane ride from Los Angeles to New York doing this. Time sorry, well spent. I was watching The Incredibles while I was doing it, so I will never forget that. It was a wonderful experience. Wow. I know. It has a sequel coming out. It though. does. Incredibles 2. I a have tickets. After like tickets 37 years, night. there's a sequel coming. We have next, coming up to us, another ravishing beauty taking the audiobook world by storm. It's Nancy Peterson. Nancy, come on over. Great to see you. Again, the, are the dresses are a little bit off the chain tonight, aren't they? I mean, this is intense. Fixing that. Being very discreet. You look phenomenal. It's great to see you. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Are you excited to be at the Audis 2018? I am blown away. I'm so excited to be here. I can hardly stand it. Tell us about your history with the Audis. Other nominations, other wins? This is my first nomination, first time at the congratulations. Audis. Congratulations. So thank I you. thought so, but I wanted you to be the one to say it. Yes. Awesome. Congratulations on that. Uh, is it a solo, uh, solo narration? This is a solo narration. Tell us about it. It's a, times, a fiction time slip uh, set in London, present day, and then we get some uh, back and forth between now and World War II era. Some accents in there, British. Always fun. Always fun. Yeah. Part of the gig. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, yeah. oh no, I'm sure you don't. No, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Did you come, are you with anyone tonight? Did you come solo or who's here with you? My date is Andrea Ems. Ah, the great yes, Andrea Ems. I saw them in the lobby when I was Fellow narrator and out because yeah. I was late. Awesome, Shocking. we love Andrea, oh, I so that's fantastic. Cool. And Clayton is here, Clayton Butcher is here as well. So, yeah, and I have an amazing support team of narrators who are there to cheer me on. So. I think you probably have a support team of about 550 narrators, if I'm not mistaken. We're all pulling for you. Uh, what's the title of the book and the category? The title is Catching the Wind, 
by Melanie Dobson, and the category is Inspirational Fiction. Fantastic. We wish you all the best. You look phenomenal. Enjoy the show. We're going to join you because we'd like to get to the drinking and eating in a little while, too. But we're here for you. We're here for you. It's all about you. Supposedly, um, when people actually no. start going in, we have a couple of people who are going to bring us food and drink. That's what they say. I know. I, I don't, don't know believe if I trust them. them. I just don't chatting. believe them. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's but a, not we're just left alone, and that's how stuff. it is. Um, so we have uh, one of our dear friends yes. coming up next. And Very we have to exciting. talk to him about his jacket because we he, do. Told me, he told me about the choice last night. Would I, you say? That, would you call it salmon? I don't know. I feel like it's I would call it a little bit. I would call raspberry it raspberry or something. Raspberry is a good call. I'm going to yeah. go sockeye salmon. Okay. You know the the, okay. the variety of yeah, salmon that leans a little pink. to the red side. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. it's got a little of that going on. Let's right. bring him on here. We love him. He's phenomenal. He runs the show over at Scholastic Audio and Weston Woods oh, Audio. He's the amazing so Paul Gagney, ladies we're gonna and gentlemen. We love working with him. And you come in the middle. Come in the middle. You guys, right. uh, we, we yeah. sort of blocked and our camera shot so that we can fit a couple people in here. But okay. if awesome. we're cut off, that's fine. People have been and you're watching Alan, us all night. Right? Alan Gratz, yeah. introduce yourself. Tell us, uh, you've come along with Paul Gagney. Tell us about your... Sure, story. I'm the author of Refugee, a book that's up for an Audi Award for the for the kids. This is uh, the, the Three Perspective that's book. That's right. That's I know it. about it. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it's three different kids from three different time periods right. of different parts of the world all trying to seek refuge as refugees. And Paul and his crew did an amazing job on the audio book. As they do. Yeah. That's, we expect nothing less. Really great readers. Outstanding. We also did original music for it, yeah. which was wow. really fantastic, where they combined all three of the different cultures, musicals, traditions. Beautiful. It was really fantastic. If I remember correctly, the culture, there, there's a German perspective. So yeah, it's a Jewish-German kid. Jewish-German kid. And also a Cuban girl right? and a Syrian boy. And Cuban so girl is played by Kyla Garcia. That's right, yeah. and she's going to be here there tonight. We go. as far as I, I believe she yeah. is, absolutely. Yeah. We'll get Kyla up here. Yeah. Fantastic. I can't wait to meet her. I've yeah. never met her in person. I'm looking forward oh, to Oh, she's her. great. Well, yeah. you'll, you'll have a yeah. great opportunity the tonight. The were fantastic. The production was amazing. Thank yeah, you. It was great. Thank fantastic. you. We're really excited about tonight. You're, actually, I think Paul is in heaven right now because he <laughs> doesn't know. really want to talk. He didn't to have us. to talk. We're right. going to make him talk. All right. We have we're somebody gonna, who did We're going to take it off the book for one second and ask you to characterize the color of your jacket, Paul. Characterize the Please, color of my jacket. Please, what color is the jacket? Uh, we were having a debate a, about this. Uh, the, the tag said it was red. I All think right. it's pink. You and think I figure if we, if we don't win the Audi tonight, so we're I, could, call it I could set up a stand and sell um, uh, lemon ice or something. He, he told me the story of why he decided to, uh, to wear it tonight, and it had something to do with a coworker telling him he couldn't pull it off. I couldn't pull it off. So oh, no, you're, pu you're pulling it off. You're pulling it off. Yeah. So and and what you and what you don't realize yeah. is at the, the, the post party when the drinks start to flow, we expect Paul he will literally pull it off. So uh, <laughs> we're looking forward to that part too. Up Swing it table. over his head. Yeah. Up on, yeah. That'd be great. That's uh, we've seen that around, side yeah. of him, uh, we, and we'll yeah. we'll spare you that. Guys, congratulations! Thank you. So nice to have nice you. To, thank uh, you. You're the reason we're all here. Oh, uh, cool. You know, you. It's, it, having the opportunity to get to see some of the authors that we love working with and for, it's yeah. a real well, treat. These so. guys, they take it to a whole different level. Yeah. I write it, but then they take it to a level that's just beyond what I can do. That it's level awesome. is exactly why we're all here yeah, tonight. So thanks for being part of it. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Paul, we love you. Thanks for stopping over. We'll see you in a bit. Where we will join you for a awesome. uh, very relieved drink. Thank you. I feel like Thanks, I'm guys. saying everybody who comes up is a dear friend, but it's know, the truth. It's I mean, it's so ridiculous because we have another one, a gentleman I'm going to be performing with oh, in a oh. week in Kansas City. He's another one of those luminaries who I think has won 432 Audi Awards, and tonight he's nominated for another 716. Dion Graham, Dion Graham, get on over here. That's your cue. Come on in. And our, Tim, are you guys get, nominated get in the for middle. the same book? No. Oh. Get in the middle. Oh, okay, well, come on. So, well, you know, I guess since you guys are both, you've taken a little bit of a risk on the attire tonight, I think it works, actually. Well, we've, we, we've got some beautiful, like, cultural attire for both of you. I, I don't even Absolutely. feel risky, do you? Did you bring some single malt for us to enjoy? <laughs> Give him a microphone while he waxes poetic about scotch. I didn't bring any, but I think Dion has a flask we're going to enjoy from later. Oh, yeah, so. Where? Right now, though. You know, it's, to hide it. it's, it's there. I forgot to bring my flask tonight. You Let's start with me. Dion. Tell us about how many nominations tonight? Uh, two tonight. Two one, tonight. One for Trombone Shorty and a multicast uh, for the X-Files. Oh, fantastic. X, Mr. X, if you, for, for you X-Files fans. Awesome. Very, very exciting. Cool. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Trombone Shorty. That's your solo narration, right? It is. It is. Trombone Shorty is a great book for young people. It's for everybody, but it's about the great musician uh, who's from New Orleans uh, named Trombone Shorty. Uh, and he's fantastic. Who plays saxophone? Just like. actually, yeah, exactly. Uh, but he's, it's, it's a great book. That it, we got some rights to his music as well, so that's also in the book. And it's just, it's a great production. Fully produced into the audio book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Awesome. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Who did you do it for? 
for Live Oak. Live Oak. Live Oak. So it was uh, an Odyssey honor this year as well. Fantastic. Wonderful. Another another Odyssey. Another Fantastic. Odyssey. We have yeah. Bonnie Turpin up. Yep. Amazing. Yep. You're having an unbelievable year, but now it's gotten to the point that it's almost like silly to say that because every year for you is phenomenal and we expect the most extraordinary superfluous work from you it's unbelievable i look forward to being with you again and performing together in kansas city at the here now festival man, i'm really looking forward to it and have a good time together. and you're going to be great uh, well i i'll try and keep up with you be great. tim campbell you can stick around if you want to hey. and stay with us so, tim what's going on i can't believe i'm standing next to this guy right here this is crazy i've been listening to him for years and yep. years this my pleasure, man, and Crazy. I love it. We were just talking before about how my license is Graham, so also I'm looking forward to getting my, my own. My ancestors murdered like a lot of his ancestors. Oh, good. Oh, that's, phenomenal. that's really what nice. A fun story. A few of them love them as well. I hope so too. Hopefully, Not exactly. In the books I, I don't know if we're getting it in the shot. This incredible uh, Scottish just traditional just, outfit yeah. with the kilts. Yes. And you want to do a jump? You want to do a jump shot for us, Tim, and see how much you reveal of the uh, of the wardrobe? I, yeah, probably isn't. Hence, okay, real quick, tell us, about, tell us about the book you're nominated for. I was nominated for Claim and Protect uh, for HarperCollins, produced by B Audio. Yeah. Yep, under my pseudonym, John Lane. Oh, and you're, you've been officially outed on my, Facebook Live. Outed. John Lane is my pseudonym. There we go. Not that anyone didn't know. But. All right, Tim Campbell, also known as John Lane. Are yep. you there we go. In the erotica, or in the erotica. Erotica. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Hence the skirt. Yes. All right, I there we go. Get out of here. Go there. enjoy the ceremony. Gentlemen, to Thank the be you. best Thank of both you of you guys. So Great much. to see okay, you. See you that was Dion Graham and Tim Campbell, also known as John Lane, we as we've just learned. Fantastic. Let's bring up, we got to keep it rolling. We're going to bring up another dear friend, the great Johnny Heller. Um, we're going to get you, Johnny, don't worry. We're going to get you an apple box to stand on. And here's Joanna Perrin, the lovely <laughs> Joanna. Lovely jo partner Johnny's in life much and wife. better half. And, uh, but we love you. Give me a kiss. Uh, tell us about your your book this year that you're nominated for. Congratulations, man. Thank you. No. He's not going to tell us anything no, about the book. No, no, Ladies and gentlemen, that was Johnny Heller. Thank you. It's, it's, an, it's an awesome book. It's about um, these, uh, uh, Wedgie and Gizmo, uh, a lovely dog named Wedgie and an evil genius named Gizmo, Excellent. who's a, uh, uh, um, who's me. Uh, he's, he's, he's a little, uh, uh, not a ferret, what do I say? He's a little uh, guinea pig. Okay. And he wants to take over the world. As most guinea pigs do. Oh, why Have you ever you? met a guinea pig? Not that didn't want to take over the world. Precisely. Yeah, but it's really charming. And there's, there's already two books out, and there'll be a whole bunch because it's a charming series. So what you really want in our business is a like series, a especially very it's funny. I love the series. It, it means repeat work. Thank you. Who did Thank you do you. it for, Johnny? Oh, that's Harper Audio. My good friends at Harper. We love the folks at Harper. Beautiful why, why people. Would it? Yeah. Excellent. Listen, what a shill. Yeah, I that's tell you. That's what, we're, that's what it's all about, man. Give us camera time. We're just angling that's for it. more work, right? I know. That's really I know. What Honestly, about. Johnny could kind of hang out up here with us for the entire show. No so doubt. He, would, he would be among the best vampers out but there. We're going to send you in with the best of luck. I'll leave because. And we'll be pulling for you. Uh, and pulling for a few other people in the same category because we like them just as much as you. You're not that much taller than me. I'm just saying. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you're wearing heels. Get out of here. Johnny Heller and the lovely Joanna Perrin. Next is a guy who's actually never, I think he just got his start in the industry, right? Yeah, I don't know if he's I think ever he, been to the audience before. I'm not sure. He certainly he, hasn't been nominated before or won any, no. and uh, he's a newbie. We're going to be coaching him on how to narrate audiobooks right after the show tonight. Let's bring him up. You've never heard of him. His name is Scott Brick. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Brick. Come up. Look lovely. Mwah. How are you? Oh, Good to see you, sir. Good to see you tell, tell us about your 312 nominations tonight. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, they're all for Lincoln and the Bardo. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, and also Mississippi Blood for Harper Audio. Also, see how that happened? It's only for one. Oh, right. Sorry, two. Well, you know, I, I'm like one of, uh, I think, 150,000 voices on, on Lincoln uh, and the Bardo. Yeah. Lincoln and the Bardo. So I don't look at that as one of mine, but. But that was an amazing accomplishment. Uh, Kelly Gilday at Penguin Random House yeah. put that together in yeah, large part. And, uh, I mean, it really was like a record-breaking cast, right? It was extraordinary, and it was so profoundly moving. Yeah. I read it, and uh, I, I was reading one author's uh, uh, selections uh, who was quoted throughout the book. And I turned to Kelly, and I said, I love this guy. And she said, oh, great. He's got a book coming out in three months. I'll have you do it. So it was awesome. Wonderful. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. Okay, let me, tell me if you know which nomination this is, how many nominations you've had in the past. I don't count them. Come on, I you must have know. some idea. No, I don't. I have no idea. Approximate. I, my, uh, 20 or 25, something 20 like that. 20 or 25. There but you I go. love this because uh, Greg Isles is an author that I've read for years, and I, and I hadn't worked for Harper in mumble-mumble years. And, uh, oh, that's great. He actually enjoyed talking to that one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't done anything for them since Mystic River in like 2000. Oh, no kidding. So yeah, so, so, so when like they called me up and Harper. said, would you do this book by Greg Isles? I'm like, seriously? I thought about it for about a nanosecond and said, yes. Awesome. Yes, I will. See, so. Harper still loves you, oh, bless as him. we do. Bless uh, we're actually bless all, the three of us, all based in Los Angeles, in fact. So this is kind of like a fun little, uh, right? you know. Uh, this is a Friday night. This is a Friday night, right? night for us, exactly. Pretty much. But Pretty we're much. just dressed a little bit less than we normally dress on a Friday night, I'd say. Yeah. You know, in L.A., we're a little fancier. Yeah. yeah. Right. We dress down. Totally average. I mean, that's but that's actually Tuesday for you, if we're being serious. That is uh, nice Scott, uh, always great to see you, my Thank man. You uh, especially Thank here. You. We always uh, love seeing you as part of the show. Mm -hmm. ah, take care. Thank you. Fantastic. So we have an author coming up uh, next. Uh, uh, it's Chrissy in the, the sci-fi yes. category. Yes. And uh, she's really amazing. I mean, it's kind of crazy. She's done the stuff with... Um, uh, isn't it like the Warcraft stuff and all these like the video game related? Right. Uh, it's it's like a, a she is a genre unto herself. Yeah, uh, it's Christy Golden. Let's bring her on up. Hi. Christy, great to see you. Congratulations on the nomination. I have to tell you that if you were able to see through that light and the back of my phone, you could see a Star Wars symbol on there. And if it accidentally rings while we're while we're talking, it will be the Star Wars theme. So it's true. You are nominated for Star Wars Battlefront Two. Tell us how you got, became involved in the Star Wars world. Well, um, I was approached one day by my agent, and she says, how would you like to write Star Wars? I said, I would love to write Star Wars. She said, how would you like to write three books? I said, I'd love to write three books. She said, how do you like to write three books in a nine-book series with two other authors, and you have to do all the middle parts? And I said, sign me up. <laughs> That's amazing. So trial by fire, my very first experience. So this big collaborative project. But now, amazing. What did you think of... I'm, well, I'm putting you on the spot, but I'm assuming you're going to say something positive. What did you think of the audio of your work? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The person who narrated is Janina Gavankar, and she is the character of Aiden Versio in the video game. Oh, wonderful. And she, great story. She approached me, and when she knew there was a prequel to oh, the wow. game, she wanted to know about it to inform her character. Um, we've become friends. She's very excited about it. She's really supportive. And I think she just knocked it out of the park. This is her first time doing audio narration. Amazing. She's, she's fantastic. And, and an audio nomination to come along. I know, I know. But she's amazing. So I'm Unbelievable. surprised. Yeah, that's really amazing. Now, I just want to ask you one more question. Uh, you are affiliated not just with the Star Wars franchise, but as I mentioned in your introduction, your work is connected to so many really iconic franchises in the video game world, the sci-fi world. How does that happen? Do you go out and get rights to basically be a part of this? Do they approach you? It's an amazing career you've got as an author. It's, it's really remarkable. Um, yeah, and at this point they approach me, and um, it's been wonderful. I've worked for 13 different IPs. Unreal. So I made the New York Times bestseller list a few times with them, and uh, I, I really am fortunate because I get to do things that I love. And to be... Uh, Are you a real fangirl of this stuff even before you were getting affiliated through the writing? At age 13, I saw Star Wars for the first time, and it, it literally changed my life. Unbelievable. And didn't you, just for all the fans out there, didn't you have a connection to Buffy as well? I did. You Absolutely. Did. See, I knew about this, and I, that Buffy is probably one of, like, the cultiest following things ever. Well, good for you for having Buffy knowledge. That's Absolutely. Right. Well, it's, you know, it's a part of, like, that sci-fi fantasy history, and you're a legend in it in your own right now. We welcome you to the audience. We wish you all the best. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have yeah. such a fun night tonight. Christy Golden, amazing author, and uh, good luck also with the Star Wars franchise. Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Excellent. Oh, All right, nice. so we've got, I see medals, I see medallions. We're surrounded by Audi's medallions. Us everywhere. All right, we've got Uncle Roy coming up. You know Uncle Roy? Roy yes. Yokelson, who in the industry we all call him Uncle Roy. We're bringing him up along with author and narrator John Long, who did a project for Blackstone Audio, nominated tonight. Come on up, gents. So, great to now, see you. Did this you, is Roy. Did you? Come in, come in the middle, come in the middle. We have a, we have a, we have a small, we have a small yeah. shot here. So we can okay. give you a mic. Okay, um, I got it, I got it. So did you write the words that he narrated this time? Or? No, I wrote them and narrated. Okay, very quick story. Roy will fill you in. I was his English teacher ha! and directed and directed him in drama in 10th grade. Wow. And so who's directing who? So I called him up and I said, I've got this school book, yeah. you know, about exciting things that happen in a high school. How about it, Roy? And he said, We'll do it. So this, the teacher became the director, and the director became the teacher. Amazing. And it's like a full circle thing. How incredible. And then I got us a deal at Blackstone, right. and then we won a, We were nominated for Voice Arts Awards last year. And then we for submitted the same to project? this. Same project. Yeah, same project. And so 
Here we are. Congratulations. Nomin Amazing. And a nomination for me is a win. Uh, oh, absolutely. We're here with all our friends. Absolutely. In fact, uh, technically, we always call Audi nominees uh, finalists. Yes. Because that's really, it's a short list kind of thing. You've already won just being here. Yeah. And I, uh, I just think anyone who's here, medallion or not, is a winner because absolutely. we have one of the most extraordinary communities in all things creative. That's right. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being I with us. I tagged you guys uh, when you... Put up there that you were gonna uh, on, on the book of the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. tagged yeah. us on the well, book of the some face. Maybe your friends All are right. actually watching right now. Very good. So Thank they you. better be. Thanks for being with us. I'm the new maybe old so guy. Much. Hey, hey you Let's know what? You. It seems like you're doing pretty well, my man. So well, well done. You. Enjoy, Thank enjoy you. the show tonight. Thank you. See. After you interview, interview Roy Yogelson, I don't know if you heard that, he starts breaking glasses. It's just, it's an no, old tradition totally at fault. the Audis. I put my glass of water down there, and I knew that was a bad idea, we but have I a, did it anyway. We have another legendary author coming up tonight. And when I say legendary, again, if, if memory serves, she won a Hugo Award, which in the world of sci-fi uh, is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it's really ridiculous. It's about as extraordinary as it gets, along with many, many other things. We're going to talk to her right now. It's the great Anne Leckie. Tonight's nomination, come on over, Anne, as I'll talk you in. Uh, your nomination tonight is for a book called uh, Provenance, right? That's correct, yes. Tell us all about it. Welcome and congratulations, first of all. Thank you. It's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, Provenance is a science fiction, kind of a space opera type thing, about a young woman who's trying to impress her wealthy and political mother. Uh, she has a plan, a plot to do it, and it immediately all goes wrong in the first chapter. All right. That's a good setup for a story. Fantastic. And tell us about in the world of sci-fi, and I, it, that was correct, right? I, I didn't misstate the Hugo, right? You did not misstate the Hugo. No, the Hugo is one of the most prestigious of the awards, but... But, uh, but I mean that you won one. Oh, I absolutely yeah. did, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and I remember this was, the one you won for was the first book of a series. Was it, it was your debut novel? It was my debut novel, yes, Ancillary Justice, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. And, that, and there were, that was part of a trilogy, or...? It was. It was part, it was the first book of a trilogy, Ancillary Justice, Ancillary Sword, and Ancillary Mercy. Bingo. Yeah. Okay. We got the new one nominated for an Audi tonight. Um, and I want to ask you, in the world of sci-fi, what's your approach? I mean, do you have, since you're such a, a rock star in sci-fi, do you have a science-y background? Because, you know, wh wh how did you get into writing sci-fi that you yeah. make it realistic? I, uh, actually, my background is in music, but uh, my parents were biochemists, and so I was raised okay. in a very scientific family, and I've been reading science fiction since I was little, so it just seemed like the natural thing for me to write when I started writing. Is that one of the defining characteristics of science fiction, like making the science credible that you come up with to tell the story? It can be. It absolutely can be. It's one of the more popular ways to do it. It's, it's part of what makes science fiction so fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Suzanne. It's Anne Leckie. I know. I am so excited. Well, my, my most excited Anne Leckie. is I'm a huge sci-fi fan, but I'm so excited to have so many sci-fi authors with us tonight. It's wonderful. When I was looking at the authors coming, the majority of them, if not all of them, were sci-fi authors. Yeah. So I'm so happy it's you're unreal. here. It's wonderful to be here. How did you enjoy the audiobook experience? I, it's really wonderful. I love being able to like walk and do stuff and experience a book. And I think Adjoa Ando's narration is just fabulous. She's so wonderful. That's yeah. phenomenal. Brilliant. Welcome. This is so exciting to have you here, and I imagine this is your first Audi Awards that you've attended. It's actually not. No. Oh. I, two, uh, two years ago, yes, uh, Ancillary Mercy, the third book in the trilogy, was nominated for an Audi. It was Adjoa Ando's narration. So. Excellent. How phenomenal. Well, you know, that's what you get when you assume. Yeah. Have such a fun night. We wish you the best of luck, and we'll have our fingers crossed. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Congratulations, Sienna. It's, it's our privilege to have you here tonight. Enjoy the show. I don't Fantastic. know how we're going to fit all these Coming people. up next. Okay, look but at this. We're going we, to. We've got, all right, talk about the L.A. contingent. We're about to have four amazing narrators come up from Los Angeles. So this is just the West Coast show, folks. We're in New York, but deal with it. I mean, we got Emily Wu Zeller. Come on up. We've got right behind her, Erin Bennett. Behind Erin, we've got Hillary Huber. Right here. Hillary Huber. And we've got Vikas Adam. Vic, squeeze in. Everybody just find the lens. All because right, you guys are the amazing. The good thing is that we all Everybody's love each other so tonight. much that this is not a problem. Tell us about your uh, your nomination. I'm nominated for Fire Road, which was written by Kim Phuc Van Pei, the famous uh, girl in the Vietnam War photograph. She survived a napalm attack. Unbelievable. Emily Wu Zeller, what category? Uh, inspiration, faith-based fiction, uh, non-fiction. Inspirational, faith-based, non-fiction. It actually happened. Okay, awesome. The great Erin Bennett. Erin, hi, you look ravishing. Well, Thank you. Tell us about your nomination. I'm nominated for Code Girls by Liza Mundy in the history biography category, the story of the female codebreakers of World War II who helped win the war. 
Amazing. Yes, and for uh, nevertheless, we persisted with a full cast. We are hoping to see oh, Tanya well, Eby tonight. Nevertheless, we persisted. It has a cast of about 714. Uh, it, it was competing with uh, Lincoln and the Bardo for uh, largest cast ever. And they're all nominated, and they're all here. And it's crazy. We got Vikas Adam, my dear friend. How's it going? Are you nominated tonight? I'm not, but I'm here uh, Narrator Hall of Fame. Narrator Hall of Fame. He's referring inaugural to the class. Audible Studios Narrator Hall of Fame inaugural year this year. 20, 21 narrators inducted. Uh, 20 narrators and the amazing Rick Lewis. Okay, there you go. Unbelievable. So there you go. 20 narrators plus Rick Lewis. Inaugural cast of Hall of Famers. Welcome. We love you. And the great Hillary Huber. You want to get Hillary, Suzanne? She she doesn't want to be up here. Vikas made her come up. She doesn't want. Why wouldn't I'm she want to be up here? I'm a supporter and a lover of all my friends and colleagues. We had to get you on camera. Exactly. Look at you. I know. You <laughs> are ridiculousness. Stunning. All right, kids. Thanks, you guys. We have okay, 700 more people to interview in four minutes. We love you. Enjoy the show. Good luck to you all. Thank you, my dear. Oh, it's nonsense. What well, was Suzanne? Yes. I'm just the, the the window dressing or something. I don't know what I don't no. even know what I am. I, I don't You're need the that. Perfect it's Tom Deere. Tom Deere, on, get on over here from so Voice Over Extra. So Tom Deere, you're the you're the interviewer. I am. So we're interviewing the interviewer. Yeah. Let's ask the questions around. No, here, I don't honestly. think you will actually. Honestly, I would I would enjoy that for once. Go ahead. Maybe yeah. All right, fine. We're gonna do kind of a meta thing. The interviewer is gonna interview the interviewers. He's, his 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 brain is working i can i can see it what's the capital of egypt cairo i was gonna say cairo but you're probably gonna tell me it's not fine auckland on a zebra or it's oakland. It oakland if you're gonna be an interviewer get my name right auckland is it white stripes on black or black straps on white on a zebra it is quite clearly black stripes on white that's all i got that's all okay. you have Obviously, right. that was directly related to the Audis 2018. Tom Deere with the most relevant questions in audiobook history. We love you. Have fun tonight. Now get out of here. <laughs> Next, we have. You want to? You want to introduce him? You I know, feel like I'm introducing everybody. Uh, you go. This is another guy who's just starting out. He's just starting out. Uh, potentially has the least amount of nominations and the least amount of work ever done in audiobooks. He is the host of tonight's festivities. He is Mr. Simon Vance. The most in inexperienced words, narrator in audiobook history. In other words, some guy. Some, some guy. guy. Yep. Hi, man. Who are you? How are you? I don't know who I am. I'm just the guy with the mic at the moment. You look fantastic. Thank you. Boy, do we have high hopes for you tonight. No Thank pressure. You. No, no, no pressure whatsoever. Um, I'm told I have to tell jokes and stuff, and I have no idea what I'm going to say. So, Awesome. You're off to a great start. I'm lying. Of course I do. I got copious notes. That's lucky. Fantastic. Do you want to give us a preview of anything? Do we get any sneak peek on what you're going to do? Well, I was going to tell you about, uh, I'm not, probably not going to do it, but I got this custom tailored suit, which I didn't realize yes. I was going to need for the event. I didn't yes. know I was going to be doing this. And I got this custom tailored tux months ago. And it's got a custom tailored shirt, which I have now discovered with these little things on it. If I stretch my shoulders in the wrong way, they pop out. Interesting. So I was thinking. Uh, I think I we should try bought, it. Well, Give I it a test. Nothing to do. It will happen. I was, I, was hoping, uh, I was hoping that tonight you would do that famous. Uh, Full Monty bubble wrap dance that you do that we love to call bangers and mash. Do you, you want me to do that? I was hoping. Do you, do you have some bubble wrap? I, I'll get some. Seriously, I, I've got, you know. I will miss the first half of the show to go to Dwayne Reed and buy a roll of bubble wrap if you do it. I can do weird things I, if you like. I, I we bubble want wrap, weird. I have okay. bubble wrap in my hotel room if only you had told me. See? I think we'll all. <laughs> this is when we're not prepared. Do we don't have bubble wrap for bangers and mash, Simon's most famous routine. Thank so, you. All right. I hey. thought you'd be backstage preparing right now, so I'm really. I'm Take another. <laughs> They just added another nomination for Simon. It Especially turns out because, yeah, someone sure. decided, you know what? We should have nominated him for that, too. Let's give him another medal. I read, I read your bio yesterday again, and I think it said something like 32 or maybe it was 23 wins. And how many nominations and wins do you have? 43 nominations That's and 14 ridiculous. wins. That's ridiculous. Yes, it is. All right. It's, gotta, it's just got to stop. Yeah. I mean, come on. This I'm is sorry, PJ. I'll, I'll try to back off a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll try to be bad next year. Just, just to put it in perspective, Simon's biography, his bio that you put in the program, someone narrated it, and it's up for an Audi tonight. Uh, that's how ridiculous it is. And okay. Thank you. Simon. I better go. We love you. Go. You have so okay. much work Thanks, to do guys. tonight. Have okay. fun tonight. We get to be done soon. You're, you're on soon, so go have fun. The great Simon Vance. Truly, I, if there is a, a legend in our industry, anyone who claims that title has to compete with him first. He's... Uh, Really, really, I mean, the great of the greats. Uh, now, oh my God, I, can, I, can I sing the song? 
It's a Den Relay Ojo. I always have to introduce her with the song. I don't know why. It just has to happen. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You look amazing. You do too. You're All very right. handsome. You're wearing a medal. Yes, I am. You're nominated for? Uh, three categories. Uh, Where wow, you need three medals. Ever, I know, I'm missing two. Uh, Simon Vance <laughs> we'll has We'll get them for you. Simon, bring back a Den Relay's medals. Paranormal, history and biography, and the one everybody is on, the multi-voice narrator, 165 of us. There you go. Yeah. You're talking about Lincoln and the Bardo? Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Was it 165? There's a, yes, it's like two names they actually say, and then there's like plus 163 other narrators. Right. And, 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 and the rest. Yeah. And more. And the rest of us. Are you excited to be here? I am. I really am. It's a nice space. I like it here. Yeah, the New York Historical Society on Central Park West. Yes, everybody looks very sexy, yeah. very dapper. Yeah, says you. I mean, <laughs> I know. come on, like you I know. Saw, I saw you over there. I mean, you're sparkling, so that helps. Crazy. But I saw the hair, and I'm like, oh my goodness, yeah. that looks amazing. Classic. You're on That's tonight. Beautiful. You are on tonight. <laughs> the Den Relay's got it going on. We, uh, it is always a delight to be in your company. We're glad to see you here. Uh, good luck tonight. She, she also takes yep. the most amazing selfies ever. So she's a, she's the audiobook light. selfie queen. My selfie light is in, is in tow Nice, tonight. that's my selfie she light right there. She, she brings selfie light equipment. All right, girl, All right. get in there. We'll we'll party with you we'll shortly. Yep. A Den Relay Ojo, a triple nominee tonight. Next, we are bringing up. Uh, are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna do a double. A tr we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna, doing a triple. Oh, we're gonna do a triple. Oh, it's getting bigger. Or in other right. words, a three-way. This is a another. Wow, you went there. I did. I was trying to. Get, okay. We're so all we've got we've got here. two West Coasters and one East Coaster who is horrifically outnumbered. Let's bring up the East Coaster first, so she can get a stable footing. It's Sarah Malo Christensen. Christensen. Come on up. Hey, how are you? Hey, right hello. behind her, we've got from the West Coast our dear friends Ramon De Ocampo and someone you probably never heard of. She's only done a couple of books. Julia Whalen. Come on up. Oh, and she's an author now, too. Did we yes, mention that? Yes, she is an author Julia of a phenomenal Come on, you phenomenal got to tuck in nice and tight. She narrated, strangely enough. All right, find the lens. All uh, right, so you guys. We're presenters tonight. Start over yeah. there with, oh. with, the, uh, with the unknowns. Yes. Hello, darling. Okay, what are you doing here tonight? Um, I am nominated for a couple of things, uh, but I am Duh. also nominated. Everyone seems to be uh, here for Lincoln and the Bardo, I think, all 166 of us. Um, so I can't take credit for that one. Uh, but yeah, and I'm here to see friends and enjoy the party. Indeed, fantastic. You're presenting tonight. Uh, you're presenting. With you guys Ramon? are presenting. Are you co-presenters? Oh, cool. We are co-presenters. We're oh, co-presenters. It's exciting. Yeah, fantastic. We'll Do what categories are you presenting? Do you know what categories you're presenting? Uh, no, we're going to read them. You're just going to read them. <laughs> that is they yeah. memorize there are nothing. So many categories, and I, I don't know. Yeah. We're first up, though. I think we are first up. Yeah. We're first up. So yeah. we'll get it out of the way. Guinea pigs, and then we'll start drinking. And then we'll start drinking. Yeah. We were talking about guinea pigs earlier. Apparently, they're all trying to take over the world. Uh, I, they eat them in places, right? Yeah. You weren't here for that. No, I'm just doing a callback joke. You're not privy to. Okay, moving Sarah on to Sarah Mallow Mallow. Christensen. Whose name I know how to pronounce because my mother's maiden name is... It's not is, Christensen, it's Christensen. Christensen. Here we go. I know, we had to talk about this yesterday. My mom's maiden name is Christensen, and everybody right. says Christensen and to do the same thing mom. for me. And I'm her mom. I look really young. It's amazing, isn't but it? But I'm Suzanne's mom, and all the people know that. Unreal. Just for you guys. Actually, you are both Norwegian, aren't you? Yeah. I am. Yeah, you are both you? are. You didn't know that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's crazy. I'm basically all Norwegian. Yeah. Oh. If you ask me what I look like, like which parent or whatever it is, I, I am a carbon copy of my mother. So anyway, tell us about the project you're nominated for. I'm nominated for Nevertheless We Persisted by Blunder Woman Projections yes. with a lot of other people here tonight, which Indeed. is a That's that other amazing big cast one. and admirable project in many ways. So I'm so excited to be a part of that. Hey, nice dress. Better. We're excited to see Thanks you wearing a medallion. A good friend of mine approved this dress on Facebook. Yeah, well. Facebook <laughs> Yes, well, we all have to discuss dresses like months in advance because this is the one thing we get to look forward to every year. This is pretty styling, too, I gotta say. I know, this is nice. Me likey. I love it. Nice. Pretty awesome. This is pretty you, great. not so much. I got nothing for you. Yeah, not so much. You look good. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> Ramon always has trouble like putting it together. It's fine. Yeah, I can't do it. This my is, wife picks it out. This is Ramon's first That's audience, audience, which is nice. No, this I'm not kidding. kidding. This is my what? first audience. I know. What? I know 20 years a narrator and never been here. So You've never been. I, I think it's about time. I, I feel like you're not going to be able to get me out of your hair. You definitely won't be able yeah, to no, do no. after this. We all want, no, we you're all just, want a little more. Right this is it. This is right. it. I'm, well, I'm going to live right here. Welcome. Thank you. We're happy to have you on the red carpet for your first audience. Cheers. And congrats on the nomination. Wishing all of you your first red carpet. I know, right? Exactly. Wishing all three of you, we love you all, even outside the audience. But tonight, good luck. Have fun. Enjoy the show. Thanks you, for coming up. 
old hat, man. It's old hat for you. Get out of here. All right, fantastic. We mentioned her earlier when we had Paul Gagne from Scholastic and Weston Woods, um, and we had the author of this book. It's called Refugee, the one with the three perspectives. And one of those perspectives we mentioned was female, and we talked about the lovely and the talented Kyla Garcia. Come on up. We hey, were talking you. about you earlier with How the... How you doing? Uh, Give us some love. Welcome, amazing. welcome. So turn you. around. The camera's facing oh, this way. Here? Your back is fantastic, Hello. but we want this side. <laughs> yes, we were talking uh, to the author about you, of your book, and he was talking about how much he loved you, and I said, I just saw her. We should get her up, but I couldn't oh. find you in the moment. I Who love doesn't you. love Kyla? I love you guys. Well, uh, it's a love fest her at the audience. Her is so freaking soft, I can't even you. stand so it. You're so shiny. <laughs> yes, I Tell am. us briefly about your part in Refugee. I play the character of Isabel, so it's told from three different perspectives. One is from a young Jewish boy during World War II um, who's fleeing. And the second is Isabel, who's fleeing Fidel Castro's regime in Cuba. And the third is a Syrian boy during present day, played by Asaf Cohen. And Michael Goldstrom plays the first we character. We love Asaf, too, also also in L.A. It's, it's an L.A. night. Yeah, we got a lot of people here from the it West is. Coast. Um, so not only three perspectives, but three different time periods. Three different time three periods, different cultures. three different cultures, and the stories all connect. All right. It's just, it's incredible. Beautiful. The book itself is so beautiful, and I'm so happy that it's been getting this much attention all over, just so more people can read it. I asked Bonnie Turpin this question earlier. I want to ask you, when you read a book like this, does it ever enter your mind that this one is going to go places? Like, this is an amazing book. Maybe it's going to go all the way. Everybody's going to be talking about it. That's the hope. For a story like this, I was so moved. I mean, I was a wreck in the booth, just crying. When I was done. Not during, right? Well, that sometimes you can it. use that. Sometimes. Yeah, but I was just so incredibly moved by it, and I feel like it plants the seeds that children need right now for acceptance and everything that's been going on in the world to just understand other cultures and what refugees are going through. So the fact that so many children are getting access to this book brings me so much joy. So yes, I did have that hope. I thought, I hope so many kids get to read the world to know about it awesome and you were nominated and you're nominated so congratulations kyla it's so exciting to see you we're wishing you all the best for tonight and uh we've got we're running out of time and we have 64 more people uh so we you look amazing enjoy the show and best of luck okay fantastic kyla garcia for refugee and uh so okay we have another person who she's wearing one medallion but i think she's supposed to be wearing 16. how many how many nominations do you have ms therese plummer i have Five. Exactly. Like I said, <laughs> like I said, she's wearing one. She should be weighed down. Therese Plummer should be walking like this. Exactly. That's how it's supposed to be. You look amazing. Thank as you. do you. I, I didn't as do know you. you had tattoos, but oh, I do now. Many, many, many a whole story. Give she us is the a badass. lightning fast rundown. Five nominations, categories, and titles. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Best Fiction, uh, Abby Fabiashi. She's up there. It is, um, oh, God, this is so quick. I know. It's right. Awesome. Right. <laughs> I Liked My Life, Romance. You got it. Robin Carr, Any Day Now, Inspiration Based Fiction, Sandpiper Cove, Irene Hannon, and then two multicast projects. Handmaid's Tale with Claire Danes and See You in the Cosmos. You did it! What? Amazing! How did I do the it? timer was about to go. You win the car. It's there. It is. It's, I'm going to say she has a pretty good chance of winning. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, just than, just the map, right? right? You know, out of five nominees and categories. Five, you got yeah. five nominations. You have a good, yeah. good, good shot. I'm. Yeah. You know. I know. It also helps. Scream. It helps that she's an amazing narrator. Yes. So it I think does. that boosts the odds. I have to know. talk to her about something a little later. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it happened again. It happened. Right, Ruh -roh. Christine Bam, <laughs> uh, that's, that's, there, there you go. That's uh, her easy out by just passing it off like exactly. that before we get the Thank dirt. Thank you, Therese. The great Christine Vam also wearing a medallion. We love her. All And, and you're here. You're based on this coast, as is Therese, actually. So we're, at least we're getting some we East Coast. We haven't met. We haven't. You haven't? Yeah. I'm Suzanne Freeman. It's so nice to meet you. Check that out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm meeting so many people on the red carpet tonight. Actually, like two. But All right. Yeah. Well, that's two more than before. Right. Christine, right. your nomination and your yeah. category. Um, I'm nominated for an incredible book written by Faith Hunter called Curse on the Land. It's book two in the Soulwood series. Uh, it's about this amazing woman, Nell, who feels power through the earth and draws on that power to help solve crime. Very amazing. Cool. Oh, it's super cool. That is awesome. And a ton of fun to narrate. Great. Were you... Uh you know, it, it, you, you've been. I'm assuming you're you're doing the series, yeah? Or is yes. this a, so? The perspective has stayed the same here. Yeah. So this is a this is a, a continuation on another series, a sort of an offshoot series from another Jane Yellow Rock series, and this is a character that was there. And then um, Faith Hunter took 
this character and created an entire series about her. Who published? So this is an Audible title. Audible Studios, our good friends, Christine, hailing I have a from Newark, for you. New Jersey. Are you, are you hungry? We have a, a lovely Ooh. person up here, this. Mr. Adam James Connor. Brought Hello, us Adam James a Connor. Food. We promised what do we have? Some food tonight. Do we have oh, a description? Wow. Do we know what this is? I have the, no are these idea. the rice balls? Michelle, They're random. Michelle Cobb herself had mm. to be this and said, All right. Need one to Christine, would you like one? Yeah. All right. Uh, we're, we're sampling. Says something about. Can you describe we're, what you've just tasted? we're sampling the balls. It's a ball of fried goodness. We, yes, we're, we're, we're putting <laughs> balls in our mouth on the red carpet. That's what we do. They're really good. Look, it's Facebook Live. Uh, there are no rules. So right. uh, I'll keep talking while you chew, and then we'll trade off. How does okay. that sound? Yeah. Oh, okay. once, once you're done with the balls. Yeah, I'm, glad. I'm yeah. glad you didn't embarrass me too much. No, I would never do such a thing. Do you, you, would you expect that of me? I, wouldn't, I, I don't do embarrassing. All right. Uh, so uh, Christine Pham uh, nominated. Thank you for being uh, we're here with us. Looking amazing. Congratulations. Enjoy the show. And best of luck. And I can't wait. We get to drink later. Oh, At the out. moment, we're supposed to be moderately coherent. Go figure. Can anybody see anything in my teeth? Um, no. Okay, good. No, it's not bad. There's like a giant rice ball between your, uh, between your bicuspids. Yes, okay. Why don't okay. you introduce someone I'm we've very, talked very about eight right. times? I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I saw, I saw her come in a little while ago, and she kind of scooted around the back, and I'm like, she better be coming back. She is a narrator, author, publisher, for Blunder Woman Productions, she produced, and I probably narrated and did a lot of other things with Nevertheless, uh, We Persisted, and you have how many people with you tonight who are all nominated? We have a group of about 25 people. We have 32 authors and 25 narrators, and we have some authors here and narrators, and I'm, they've already made me cry once. <laughs> so okay. I think We'll try not to do it again. there's going to be more of that. I think there's going to be more of that. Okay, tell me how the project got its start and... Sure. I, um, in January, I just decided I want to, to try to put something out there that was about people making it through the tough things. So I put out a call on my website, and I had over 100 submissions from writers all over the world. Wow. And then I chose the ones that I connected with, and it was really hard to say no to people. And then afterwards, I posted a call for narrators, and I posted the whole script, and I said, choose one that you connect with. Oh, my God, I'm going to get emotional. And they did. And every piece that I had in the collection was chosen by a narrator, naturally. Wow. I didn't have to assign anything, and it was all organic, and the performances are beautiful, and it's an incredible collection. And I'm so proud. And you got many people their first audio nomination. Well, yeah. they, they got their, they did They're, it. We did it together, but it, this was the vehicle that allowed them yeah. to shine. There's so, so many narrators on this project that relatively early in their careers are doing a lot of independent work. Yep. Uh, this is a huge night for all of them, made entirely possible by you. And I want to ask you another question because my job isn't done until she starts crying. So I know, we're gonna we work promised we were going to make her no, cry. No, 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 we, we have to make her cry. Okay. So listen, I want to know what it means to you that we have a night that, you know, there's a term in the, in the publishing industry, the big five, as you know. We've got Penguin, Random House, Hachette, Harper, Macmillan, Simon & Schuster, the yeah. big five publishers. And then we have companies like Brilliance and Tantor and Blackstone and all these wonderful audio publishers in this world that we adore, right? And they've got some power. They've got, they do their acquisitions, and they get these amazing books through their publishing brands, and they put them out. And then Tanya Eby, based in Michigan, living in Grand Rapids, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. She has her own company called Blunder Woman Productions, and she says, I'm going to do this thing. It's a small thing. I'll get together a bunch of narrators, you know, give them a shot to be part of it, all the independent authors, and create these stories and put out this anthology. And now it is nominated for an Audi on the biggest night of our industry, and you've brought 25 narrators with you. All of that is happening from an idea you had. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm not going to cry, and I'm not going to swear. <laughs> I am going to say feel that free. the rice balls that I saw you eating were amazing. They are incredible. Um, Changing all, the subject, you see? Gone. Classic technique. Uh, okay, I'll let me real quick just yes. say that um, I feel incredible. The team was amazing, and it proves what can happen when a group of people come together to put something good in the world. Yeah. Thank you. thank you. You're a very good person, and, she, and we couldn't be happier for you. She does that regularly in our industry, and I could not be happier for her tonight. Thank you guys so much. You're, You're lovely, welcome. and okay, all the best, have, Tanya. Thank you. We have time for you. one more interview. We have time for one. We, well, yeah, it just so we happens up. that some of our favorite people, yep. now, yep. they're not East Coast or West Coast. They're, they're Canada Coast. This is Emily, and we also have Victoria. Victoria from Podium Publishing, based up in Toronto. But you guys are all over the place. Yes, we are. 
And you've got three nominations tonight, including one for audiobook of the year. Yeah, Tell us. Yeah, which I have listened to, and you all know that I love the narrator, Bob Bray. Narrated by Bob Bray, R.C. Bray. He's definitely not going to come and talk to us. You're stepping on my mic, dude. Ah, thank you. I know. No, I know. I know. I asked, and I knew he would say no, but, you know, he was very gracious about it. Yes, he is a very, very talented man who does not like to have the limelight, right. I think, right. sometimes. Right. Yeah, Bob is fantastic. He kicked the butt of this book, and we're so excited about it. And yeah, Skippy the Magnificent is, oh my is, God. is so phenomenal. Skippy has his own Facebook page. Did really? you know that? Skippy, Skippy has a Facebook page. Skippy the Magnificent has his own Facebook page. Yeah. Yes, you should friend yeah. it right now. It's like 5,000 people on that. I they, want people Skippy love to Skippy. Be to adopt me. <laughs> would you? The, I feel like you wouldn't be very responsible, no, you're right. like parent. Yeah. Okay, then I would <laughs> want to adopt him as a pet. Yeah, yeah, that's may more like it. You with we should mention because fun. even though at this Actually, point it seems like happen. the entire world knows about this because it is so huge, but you guys are the company for any of our viewers who don't know this. The company behind The Martian, yes. one of the most successful audiobook dot 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 anything you want to add on to that word in the entire history of our industry, also narrated by Bob Bray. So it's magic. He's complete magic, yes. and the fans go crazy for him, and we go crazy for him. Our authors love Bob Bray, as do we. And I have to say, we're so proud of his these audiobooks that are nominated tonight. Craig Allenson's the author of Columbus Day, yeah. and I know if he was here, he would be just if, so if, proud of it. If there's comedy to be squeezed out of a script, Bob will squeeze it, and it just yeah. oh my god, it's yeah. amazing. And you talk about he doesn't like having the spotlight on him, but here's the funny side to that is that after the audiobook comes out the spotlight is there inevitably everybody's talking about it and so his narrations good, are amazing maybe he should just start being worse and then it wouldn't be an issue yeah. for him. And, and he wouldn't have as much spotlight it'd probably be better for yeah i don't know awesome. yeah. Okay, you, you well, both look amazing yeah. congratulations so on once again as an independent thank you, thank publisher you. focusing on uh, independently published books exactly. you guys have put a real big focus on that and made such a splash in our business and it's our privilege to have you here tonight thank all right you so much. enjoy the show and good luck all, All right. right, we're actually going to wrap up, but we'll 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 have we'll bring them up for our wrap Get up. Get over How here. About that? All right, for the wrap up, we've got the great. This is Bailey Carr on my left, and we've got Caitlin Kelly on Suzanne's uh, right. Uh, we're so, all gonna hey, go you guys, the party. we're going to the party because we're hungry and I'm thirsty. And all we've had is is balls. <laughs> uh, so that's yeah. Thanks so. everybody for joining us on our first red carpet live from the 2018 Audio Awards at the New York Historical Society in New York. That is Susanna Elise Freeman. That's PJ Oakland. Thanks guys, and uh, keep watching for the live uh, stream of the show. Hosted keep by listening Simon to Vance. audiobooks. We love you. Thanks for being with us tonight. Night.